you guys this is Nicole from spiritual thoughts and today I'm here to give you guys some tips if you are just starting yoga or coming back to your practice after a while of being away from it whatever the case may be here are some tips if you are just getting into yoga so the first tip no matter what your level is in yoga is to honor your body and accept where you are so a lot of the times, especially in my yoga classes, I will see students try and keep up with other people or just trying to be more advanced than they are. If you're taking a yoga class and the teacher's going at too fast of a pace for you, honor your body and slow it down. If you feel like you're pushing yourself past your limits, just because you want to be as good as someone else or you feel like you should be um, more flexible than you are, honor your body and accept where you are. Just be okay with where you are and know that that's always going to be okay. You're always going to be at your level and that's perfect. Your level is perfect for you. The next one is do not forget to breathe. So especially if you're gonna go and take a yoga class or follow along with a yoga video online, uh, usually the poses are lined up with a breath. So inhale, mountain pose, exhale, forward fold. Please try and keep to these breaths and always make sure that you're breathing nice and deep, getting a lot of oxygen, and just really supplying yourself with a lot of air so that you can have the best yoga practice that you possibly can. Breathing will also help you stay focused and go into a more meditative state while you're practicing yoga. The next tip that I have is to try and not look at yourself in a mirror and to try and close your eyes for at least half of the time that you're practicing yoga. This will really help facilitate a more meditative practice and a much more personal practice and relationship with yourself. This leads me into my next tip, which is to really try and not look at other people practicing yoga. Try to not compare yourself to Instagram yogis or people who are years ahead of you in their practice. She practices yoga. Or if you're taking a class, try not to look at the other students and compare yourself because this will really defeat the whole purpose of yoga, connecting to yourself, connecting to your higher power, and really appreciating your own body and your own level and your own place. The next one is consistency, which with any workout or practice, you want to be consistent trying to practice yoga at least once a day, even if that's just sitting down and taking a few deep breaths. Maybe you go into a child's pose in the morning. Whatever it is, get into that mindset at least once a day. The next one is to focus on how the pose feels in your body and not how it looks. So a lot of the times a pose might feel really good but you don't like the way that you look in it. And so you want to adjust, you want to move your body so that it looks pleasing. And this is often not the best way to serve our body and to further grow our practice. Really pay attention to how things feel instead of how they look, because that's really what matters. I hope that you enjoyed. I will definitely make more videos on yoga and how to get into it and all of that jazz. Leave in the comments below any questions that you have or tips that you have as well. Sending you all of my love and I'll see you in the next video.